Hey guys, welcome to Master Switch Designs. My name is Ray's Master, and today I'm going to be talking about Merch by Amazon. I'm going to be taking you through a step-by-step -step process of how I upload new designs to Merch by Amazon. So if you're new to Merch by Amazon, or even if you've been doing it for a while, but aren't getting the sales that you expect, continue watching because I am 100% sure that this video is going to help you get those sales and quickly rise up those tier levels. So without wasting any more time, uh, we're going to get right into it. So first of all, before you've even made your design, I'd recommend that you do two things. And number one is to go into resources and go into uh, content policies and check for any trademark or illegal or infringing, infringing content. Because Amazon is really particular about, um, about uh, intellectual property like trademarks, copyrights, or anything that may lead to a suspension or a rejection. I 100% recommend that you go into um, these trademark searches and do them religiously. So we go into, so today we're going to be uploading on uh, Merch by Amazon US. So go into US, go into trademarks here, and do a quick trademark search. It's a basic word search. Um, and the design that I'm going to be uploading today is this one over here. Nice and funny. Um, Sawdust is man glitter. As you can see, I always use the uh, Merch by Amazon template. It is really, really helpful. Um, gives a quick view. You can quickly uh, see how your design is going to look on different colors. I'd 100% that you, 100% recommend that you go into resources, and um, and download the templates and work with those. I'm using uh, Photoshop, and I'm sure they have um, Adobe uh, Illustrator as well. So whichever one you're working on, I'd recommend go download the templates and start working on them. Um, so back to the trademark search. Um, so our keyword here is sawdust is man glitter. So just go sawdust is man glitter and submit query. There are no records that match the criteria. So it's a 100% okay. Uh, we can now um, do the step. We can do the second step in uploading a new design. So the second step in uploading a new design is going in on Amazon and doing a search on what your design is. So our design today is sawdust is man glitter t-shirt. Let's go quickly right here. And you can see that right away we can see there's only 118 results for this search, which is really good because Amazon is really saturated and to find a niche um, a good selling niche is really hard and that is one of the key things to getting those sales. So the next thing that you want to check after you've checked um, the amount of results that you get is to check the BSR ratings and this is the Amazon best seller rating. The lower this rating is, the more, that, the more recent that product has sold. So a lower rating is equal to more sales. So you can see the 100,000 100, range is really good, 31,000, really, really good, 400,000, great. Um, and the way I can see uh, these ratings and I can see uh, these sales ranks is by downloading this extension here. Oh, sorry, uh, downloading this extension here, the DS Amazon Quick View. I'd 100% recommend um, downloading that. I'll put a link in the bio. In the description so you can quickly go and download that um, after you've seen the ratings you know that they're, they're pretty good 100,000 300,000 it's great um, anything below 500,000 is, is, is a good um, is, is a good rating as you can see all of these designs are selling because there is only a hundred 118 products hence these designs are, are, are selling really well so now after you've done those first two steps, uh, checking for trademark, um, checking for the BSR ratings and the amount of results on Amazon, after you've done those two steps, um, you can go into starting to upload your design. So go here, uh, go create, 
Um, I do have other extensions that I use for Amazon. Uh, they are 100% um, really, really helpful. So I will make another video um, explaining those extensions and how you can use them. I'll make another video on that. Um, so right now, um, if, if you're a tier 10, um, I'd recommend um, only listing standard t-shirts because the other products do 100% sell, but not as much as a standard t-shirt. And I'd, I'd recommend just um, focusing on the standard t-shirts in the US unless and until it's a region specific t-shirt. I'd recommend uh, starting from a standard t-shirt in the US. So after you've selected uh, the standard t-shirt and um, US, whatever region you wanna um, upload it to, I'd recommend the US, but it, it's totally 100% up to you. After you're getting more sales, obviously tier, tier 25, tier 100, you can start uploading um, other products into other regions to increase your, um, your range. Um, so go upload artwork. Let's find out where it is. So after your design has been uploaded, um, you can see, you can select um, men, you can choose the fit type for men, women, uh, youth. Um, I, I don't think that this design is particularly um, for the youth. So I just stick to men and women. Uh, be 100%, um, be cautious when you select youth. Uh, because uh, Amazon has a strict um, strict policy against um, content for youth. Uh, they will uh, manually verify uh, whether or not a content is fit for the youth or not. And this has led to uh, several uh, designs being um, rejected because they were listed in the youth section. Um, so go, go select uh, the, des the colors that best fit, as well doesn't. Um, Maybe blue, yeah, maybe, sure, black, uh, maybe not, maybe. So one thing is that you don't want to select um, a design that looks good on on the computer. So even though it looks like it's, it, it's a good design, these colors don't 100% come out the way um, that it's shown on the screen. There are some differences. Um, so this is a really... Um, really close color to to the design so i would not select this color or the dark heather color because um there is a chance that the print and the t-shirt color looks the same and that might lead to bad reviews and hence even if it's a good selling t-shirt with some bad reviews um just because of the color and the design matching um you you won't get you won't your sales numbers will 100 percent go down so stay away from that. A any colors that look distinctive is, is good. Um, just go with that. Uh, use them for your benefit. Um, about the pricing, you can list your products for uh, 1307, meaning you won't get any royalty. But if, if a design, if someone is wanting to buy a design for $13, I wouldn't think that they would not buy it just because it's 99 cents more so i always upload a new product at 14.99 15 dollars and instead of writing 15 i put 14.99 it, it it's just it just helps uh, with those sales now we come down to uh product details and the first thing is product title uh, what I usually do for a product title is I usually put the keyword in um, and if it's funny or something like that, I put down funny or if it's for a specific um, profession like an engineer or a woodcutter is in, in this case, I usually put that in the title. So uh, we just probably do the same thing here. We go saw dust and I'd recommend putting the first uh, letter of each word uh, capital in the title. It, it just it just helps with the uh, search engine optimization when people look for that keyword um, your product you'd want it to come come up hence uh, we try to put it capital I don't know it just helps sawdust is man glitter oh so as you can see that uh, that 
a band word is detected glitter so if we go into uh, merch by amazon resources and we see their content policies you can see that uh, content then implies the product contains a texture material including wood metal marble uh, glitter leather or anything of that type is um, is not recommended that you put put that in because your product may um, get uh, rejected because you just put in glitter and obviously um, the Amazon bot doesn't know that it's in the title um, it just sees that you put in glitter and then it should be like oh uh, rejected um, you can see there are several designs that still have the uh, uh, glitter in their title but I, I, I wouldn't recommend um, doing that to be honest if you're a tier 10 uh, uh, this notification is from I think Productor, uh, one of the extensions that I mentioned earlier. Um, I'll make another video um, on that as I said earlier. Um, so we can't obviously use glitter, so uh, we put in other words. Um, just go into the other listing and see what they've put. So they've put men's lumberjack t-shirt. Um, I don't usually put um, t-shirt or anything like that in my description. Um, it's just that if you have the same design and you upload it to a um, uh, to a phone case, it just makes it easier. Otherwise, you have to go and change every single thing. So I usually just put design instead of um, t-shirt or or any product name. So uh, sawdust is man glitter. Obviously, we can't put that. Uh, we'll put it in uh, lumber lumberjack. Uh, wood so you can see we can we have that same uh, band word detection notification for wood but I'm guessing woodworker is fine uh, woodworker funny um, uh, put chainsaw maybe I, I usually go around see other designs what they've put sawdust is man glitter funny woodworker carpenter okay that's that's a good a good word we can use. Funny car. That's the design title in, in in the brand. I usually put something similar to the title. Um, it just it just helps with the um, with the uh, keyword search when somebody searches for it. So sawdust is man uh, wood worker. Um, for the bullet points, what I usually do is I go into other designs and see these keywords that, that people have used. So, um, focus keywords, um, shirt, men's, tools, drills, sawdust, um, glitter, funny, novelty, um, sawdust, man, woodworking. Um, there's so many keywords and this is uh, same using that same extension, the DS Amazon Quick View. Um, you can get all these um, keywords um, for long tail keywords. There's just crazy options out there. Um, you can make up, make up your own um, uh, description. Just be very cautious that uh, you don't have any of these on your um, on your description. Just, just really make sure. Was there. And what I usually do is I copy the uh, first bullet point, copy the second bullet bullet point, and just paste it on into the product description. Um, again, it just helps with the keyword search when people search for the design. For that specific keyword, your design should show up first. Um, yep, and just I would I always one hundred percent recheck uh, recheck my my product before I hit publish. Because once, as soon as you've hit publish and it goes under review, um, you don't have a chance to change it. Um, it can be rejected because of a simple, simple mistake that has happened to me before. So I always go back and check my designs. So check the colors. Everything looks fine. And uh, and if you're happy with your uh, design, I uh, usually put it searchable so people can look up your design um, when, when they search for those specific keywords. 
Um, so you hit publish and yep, you want a standard t-shirt and it is searchable. Go hit publish. And as, as and now we go into the um, uh, manage page and we'll see. Sorry, so as you can see, this is the first design that I have uploaded. I am, uh, this account is currently a tier 10. So most of my new designs will go into uh, manual review. It can take up to a day or sometimes it takes up to two days for the product to be, uh, for the product to go into processing. But once it's processing, it means that it's been approved. And so that, that's it guys. That's the uh, small process that I usually go through when I upload a new design to Merge by Amazon. Um, if you're new to the channel, please subscribe, uh, please like, please share, and um, keep an eye out for my channel. I will upload new videos every week. So, see you later.